Hi, I'm Gabby. You want to learn Mexican food but in the easy way? You are in the right place. friends welcome back I'm Gabby and you're here in Mexico cooking with Gabby and today I bring you three amazing recipes that I'm going to do with a Ross okay how do you say that word hold on okay rotisserie chicken that's a hard word that's a rotisserie rotisserie chicken anyway so I went to Costco I bought this rotisserie chicken five bucks so good and I was able to make three Mexican meals that I'm gonna show you now let's get started <laughs> so the first thing that we're gonna do let's do our vinaigrette simple and easy I'm just gonna mix it up my lime juice vinegar olive oil spices mix it up we're done! Set aside. Here. Let me change my chicken because this is a small bowl. Okay, this is going to be better. So let me move a little. Okay, so I have my shredded chicken. I have three chicken breasts. And I'm just going to add my ingredients. My cilantro. My onion. Tomato. And my lettuce. I'm going to add a cup first and then we'll see. And just toss it, mix it up. Feel free to add more or less cilantro, more or less onion, but I think this is just perfect amount. This is gonna be really good. It's very easy and simple and this feed, uh, feeds a family of six. We are six people here. And we eat pretty good, I have to say. Okay, once this is well done mixed, and I think I'm just gonna leave it with that, with a cup of um, lettuce. I have my vinaigrette here. I'm just going to add it very well. Mix it up very well. Cover it, put it in the fridge, and leave it there until you're ready to eat. The more you leave it inside your fridge, the better, the more flavor it's gonna have. When you are ready to eat, I'm going to dice my avocados and I'm going to add it. The same you're gonna do it. Don't put it before, because they're gonna get dark and mushy and we don't want that, so. Okay, I'm gonna put it on my fridge. Okay, so here it is. We call it salpicón. Mix it up again before you. Serve it now. You have to put uh, avocado here, okay? I have it here. This is the first time that I freeze them like this. A friend told me that it was pretty good. I always make a guacamole and then freeze it and it's always perfect. But let me open this and see. And I can tell you if it works or not. Hopefully it works because I have like 20. Look at this, beautiful. Okay. It is, of course, very fragile, but it works. Look at this. Perfect. So I'm just going to add my avocado at the end. It's very moist. You know, it's very, like, watery. But for tostadas, for whatever, it's going to be perfect. Perfect. So, and it's going to be... Yeah, it's fine. It's gonna be good. Cause what we want is a flavor, so hey, it's all good. Okay, I have another one. You could even um, put it on your tostadas and mix it up. I mean, either way, it's gonna be just fine. Okay. So now I'm gonna get a tostada. Just. Uh, you're feeling this smells really good just imagine how it's going to taste look at that mm -mm. 
-hmm. Other thing, the other thing that you could even do is maybe put a little bit when you serve them here, just put some diced avocados here. So if you have leftover, the avocado inside here is not starting to turn brown. Another trick that you could do is if you put the avocado, this one, in a cup of water, a glass of water, your avocado will never turn brown. That's what we always do. Okay. Let me make another one. This is really good. And there you go. Salpicón. Mexican salpicón. Okay, our second recipe is going to be this Mexican chicken spaghetti. The ingredients that we're going to need is one package of spaghetti, 16 ounces, a teaspoon of oil, one cup of onion diced, two tablespoons of garlic, three tomatoes diced, or one can without the liquid, half, half of uh, cream cheese, half a cup of milk, you need two cups of shredded roasted chicken, <laughs> two teaspoons of chicken bouillon, and one cup of water, one green pepper, one tablespoon of cumin, one teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of pepper, and mozzarella cheese. So here I'm going to add my oil and I'm going to add my onion. And I'm going to cook it for around 30 seconds. So what we're looking is for the onion to be more translucent, that's what you said, like more transparent, more soft. Then I'm going to add my garlic and I'm going to cook it for another 30 to 40 seconds. Okay, now let's add green pepper dice, tomato dice, and let's cook it for a minute so they can be soft. Then I'm going to add my half of cream cheese and just kind of break it up and try to mix it up so it becomes soft and easier to dissolve with all the rest of the ingredients. Now let's add our milk and mix it up so we can help the cream cheese to soften faster and I'm just adding my cumin and my pepper now I'm adding my chicken bouillon and my water and let's continue mixing up after 30 seconds or so let's add our chicken now and let's continue again to mix it up and Let's add our spaghetti already cooked. Mix it up very well so all the flavors are all, all over. Put your temperature on low. So the final touch, once it's all very well mixed, we're just going to add a little bit of mozzarella cheese on top and mix it up. And this is going to be ready to serve. Okay, there you have it. We made some uh, garlic bread that we love and a green salad and a little bit of the spaghetti and dinner was served oh my gosh i can't stop eating this recipe that i'm gonna share with you today and you know what i will ask if you can help me just give a thumbs up to my video and leave it a comment that's so important for my channel to keep growing so Thank you so much and let's get started. Okay, we're gonna need for this recipe three guajillos peppers, three tomatoes, salt, pepper, one minced garlic, a fourth of an onion, two cups of shredded chicken, three potatoes, one egg, half a cup of breadcrumbs, and a, a fourth of a, of a cup of water. The first thing that we need to do is to clean out our chiles. So put gloves on, they're very spicy, the seeds, and you don't wanna touch your face, your eyes, your baby. So just remove the little tail and get out all the seeds that you see in them. Okay, in a pan, I'm going to add around two tablespoons of oil and I'm going to add my tomatoes that I cut in half. I'm going to add my onion, my garlic, and my chiles guajillos. And I'm just going to saute there for around five minutes on low, medium temperature. Something important that you need to do that after two minutes, 
you need to remove the chile guajillo that step is really important so if you don't do it the chili is going to get like an acid flavor and we don't want that then you continue sauteing the um, tomatoes and onions and all that stuff and just put it in the blender so we can blend it and you're going to add around a fourth of a cup of water so we can help the blender to mix it up very well add some salt and pepper if you would like Okay, once it's already blended for a minute or so, I'm bringing my mashed potato basically that we did and I'm going to add it, but we're gonna use a colander. I totally forgot about it, but here it is. I'm going to add a little bit more. I just wanted to get like a that red color. Don't add too much uh, of the liquid because we don't want water to your mashed potatoes, okay? Okay, then taste it and if you think it needs more salt and pepper, add it. So I'm adding a little bit more. So I'm just gonna mix it up very well and we are ready to start doing our potatoes pancakes. In the same pan, pan that we use for the saute the tomatoes, we are going to add just a little bit more of oil and I'm just going to start forming my potato pancakes. Just grab a little bit and make, form a ball and then kind of like make a pancake and just cook it both sides. Okay, so let me show you. I got 20 in total, and if you see, the size is perfect. So, in case you had a little extra sauce, I'm just right here. Oh, right here, sorry. And totally up to you, but of course, sour cream I'm gonna add. So, I'm just gonna get three of this delicious, and you can eat this with a green salad. I think it's gonna be delicious so if you get an extra just add some sauce red salsa Ooh. and of course I'm sorry but I have to have sour cream and because my sour cream is always too thick I add a little bit of milk and so it can be a little more and there you have it isn't that good and there you have it. I promise this is very frugal meal. Easy, quick. Mm. 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 No joke. Green salad on the side. You're good to go. What do you think? I hope you like them. Three amazing recipes, one chicken. I hope you enjoy. Please give them a set. Subscribe if you haven't helped me spread the word. Share with this video. See you next time. Bye. Follow me on Instagram, I will leave my link here. Follow me, go to my website, it's a bilingual vlog, so either um, cocinandorico.com and on the categories you can see main dishes and all the recipes are gonna be there. Bye. Okay, rotisserie chicken, that's a hard word. That's a rotisserie, rotisserie chicken. Anyway, so I went to Costco, I bought this rotisserie chicken, five bucks, so good, and I was able to make three Mexican meals that I'm going to show you now. Let's get started. <laughs> what do you think? I hope you like them. Three amazing re recipes, one chicken. I hope you enjoy. Please give them a sub. Subscribe if you haven't. Help me spread the word. Share this video. See you next time. Bye.
Well, hello friends, welcome back. I'm Gabby and you're here in Mexico cooking with Gabby and today I bring you three amazing recipes that I'm going to do with a Ross, okay, how do you say that word? Hold on. Hi, I'm Gabby. You want to learn Mexican food but in the easy way? You're in the right place. I hope you enjoyed this video. Those are really good recipes. I promise it's so, so good frugal, inexpensive. If you make them, please tag me either my Instagram. Well, actually, I don't have Instagram, so no. 